Welcome everyone to our 10 minute overview of how to use Atlassian's Cloud Migration Assistant to assess your app usage to make your migration from on-premise to cloud smoother and easier. This tool is just one of many tools and resources we have available for you for our on-premise customers to facilitate a migration to Atlassian Cloud. My name is Will Howard McKinney, and I am on a team here at Atlassian called the Product Advocates. And we are here effectively as a steward for folks on their Atlassian journey. So whether you're brand new to Atlassian tools or looking to expand into more Atlassian tools to further streamline your work and collaboration, we are here to help on a variety of topics, including migrating your Atlassian tools into the cloud. Now, this video is for folks who are currently running Atlassian tools on-premise on your own infrastructure, your own hardware, and are looking to migrate into the cloud. Now, there's a variety of reasons folks are choosing to migrate, including reduced infrastructure cost, reliable 99.9% .9 financially backed uptime of our tools in the cloud, no downtime upgrades, just to name a few of those benefits. So for those reasons and more, getting your existing Atlassian tools onto the cloud comes with a host of benefits and often reduced overall cost to your organization. Now, we're going to look at the Confluence Migration Assistant, but the experience should be similar for the Jira Migration Assistant as well. You will see some changes to the UI or other changes as we continue to improve this resource for our customers to better enable your cloud migration. But if you have any questions about this process or during this process, please reach out to us at presales at Atlassian.com and we can get you the help that you need. Now, we've built out many resources for you, for our existing on-premise customers to manage your migration to cloud. And we have support for you during your migration to ensure it's done smoothly, properly, and at your own pace. Internally at Atlassian, we have a team of cloud migration managers to ensure that you're on the right track. And depending on the size and complexity of your current setup, it might be best to work with one of our authorized partners to ensure your migration is handled smoothly from end to end. Now, to learn more about the benefits of cloud and for access to all the information and resources we have available to you to facilitate your migration, please visit us at atlassian.com slash cloud dash migration. Now, initially, this might seem like a daunting task, but we have your back. We have your back with loads of resources, assistance, and step-by-step -step processes to follow to ensure your migration journey is smooth. And when it's complete, you'll realize tons of benefits from running in the cloud, likely realizing some noticeable cost savings shortly after your migration is complete. Now we've broken the migration journey into six key phases, making it much less scary and much more attainable than you might think. And the app assessment that we're exploring today happens early on in this first phase, in this assess phase. Now the app assessment is more than just finding cloud versions of your on-premise apps. It definitely does that, but it's also a great time to assess your app usage overall and identify apps that might be unused or underused, or identify duplicate apps that independent teams might be using that you can consolidate into your cloud instance, which this tool can also help you understand. So to start, let's get into Confluence and see how this works. So here we are in Confluence. This is the landing page after I've logged in. And to navigate to the Migration Assistant, we're just going to visit Confluence Administration, General Configuration, scroll all the way down, and you should see it right here. Now, if you don't see Migration Assistant right here, it's easy and free to install from the Marketplace. So you just scroll up, find new apps, and we will search for migration, and we should see it right here. Now, of course, we do already have it installed, but if we didn't, this button would allow you to install it right here completely for free. Now, of course, we do have it installed, so we're gonna scroll back down and click into the Migration Assistant, and we're just gonna to go to Home here. Now, we are gonna focus on this part of the Migration Assistant, this Assess and Install section, but you can already see here that within the app itself are loads of resources to get you started and to see you through this process. But let's click into this and check it out. So right away, we see a list of our apps that we're using in Confluence, as well as several options and some information about them. We also have another resource link here for you to make sure you have access to the information that you need at every stage of this migration process. Now here, we see a clear indication to designate your intention with these apps. You can mark these as needed in cloud, not needed, use alternative, or no decision made. Now, to help you make those decisions, you also get some helpful info about each app in these remaining columns. For example, we can see if there's a cloud version of this specific app already. And if there is, a link to the vendor documentation that breaks down any differences or feature parity between the server and the cloud versions. Now, for Confluence specifically, if the app appears in a Confluence macro, it will tell you here how many pages that app appears on. And we also have how many users have engaged with the app. Both of these pieces of information can be helpful when you're making your decision about whether to port these over or not. Now, many of our marketplace vendors also have their own documentation on how to migrate from an on-premise to a cloud version of their app. And if they have that information, it's available right here. And lastly, you can add any notes to yourself about this process as you go through and make your decisions. 
Now, at this point, we have a list of all our apps, so you'll want to determine if and how your teams are using these apps and how critical they are for your cloud instance. We have some helpful info here for you, such as the macro counter and that viewed by statistic, but you'll want to leverage other methods to fully understand your organization's app usage. We have some suggestions available on Atlassian.com slash cloud dash migration, but you could also potentially leverage a partner for this, especially if you're using 10 or more marketplace apps, we've found leveraging a partner along with those cloud migration managers to be quite effective. But you'll want to pause here and gather that data before proceeding. But let's say we've done that analysis and we're ready to proceed. So from our analysis, from our internal surveys, from our partners' efforts, whatever means we've decided to leverage, we've decided that we definitely need Gliffy. We don't need Draw.io since it doesn't appear on any pages and nobody seems to be using it. And for Balsamic, let's just mark this as use alternative so we can see what that looks like. So we'll just click through here. Now, for any app that we mark as use alternative, we'll see suggestions here for replacements. Now, this might be another pause point. You'll want to explore these apps before committing to them. And right from here, you can open up the app in our marketplace and see some information about that app, as well as contact the vendor with any questions you might have. So next, we're going to indicate which cloud instance we want to connect to. And you can create one from here as well. I do want to call out this free cloud migration trial, though as this is a great option for folks who are looking to migrate to cloud. To further facilitate your migration, we are offering all of our on-premise customers a free cloud instance that will remain free for the duration of your current on-premise maintenance period. Now, a few important things to call out. You'll get at least 60 days, regardless of how much time is left on your current maintenance period. And this also means that you can delay your cloud migration trial until after your next maintenance payment, giving you potentially up to a full year to have this cloud license to use for your migration. And lastly, even if you are not under an active maintenance, you'll still be able to get a free cloud migration trial for 60 days. So after we identify the cloud instance we want to use, we'll simply click through here. And we see here that we have Gliffy, we have our alternative to Balsamic, and we don't have draw.io or any alternatives because we indicated that we did not want to port it over. Now from here, we'll simply click Install, and it should open us right to that cloud instance that we designated, directly into the marketplace, where you can click into here and install it with a click. Simply repeat that process for any remaining apps. And now our cloud instance has all of our apps ready and waiting for us to continue with our migration plan. Now, migrating the actual data from your server apps to your cloud apps is a separate effort, but what we've done here is create a solid destination instance so we're ready to proceed on your migration path. Now, hopefully this short overview has given you some insight into how to use this tool, as well as highlight the many resources we have available for our on-premise customers as you seek to reap the long-term benefits of running your Atlassian tools in the cloud. We believe in our cloud products, and we believe in our cloud infrastructure. Our primary mission as a business is to unleash the potential of every team, and reducing the time and money you spend on keeping your tools up and running should be of great benefit to the health and productivity of your organization. And so with that, happy migrating, everybody. I hope you found this helpful, and please let us know if you have any questions by reaching out to us at presales at Thanks so much.